Welcome to the underground, you rebel scum. This is the American Expat, and today I'm putting together this video. It's a little more serious than some of the others. You'll have to excuse me if my personality comes through. I tend to joke a lot. Anyway, amidst all the turmoil and the chaos of the mainstream media talking about the supposed response by Israel to Iran's attack, another story was actually coming out, something just uh, five hours old at the point that I'm recording this, the FBI is apparently warning of, uh, let me just read you this headline from Tech Radar. FBI claims China could be set to launch attacks on U.S. infrastructure any day. That's right. There is potentially an imminent attack coming on our infrastructure, and nobody is talking about it. But we're going to talk about that coming up in just a second, so stick around. Thanks for sticking with us. So as I was saying, according to the article, the FBI, uh, more specifically Christopher Wray, the, uh, the director of the FBI, is giving warning that China has been infiltrating our infrastructure and is on the verge of, I guess, uh, committing a large-scale attack. Let me see. I'm going to scroll into this article here, and we'll see exactly what they're saying so that uh, you know exactly what to expect, because I don't think that anybody is uh, going to be telling you about that. I don't know why they're so caught up with this, I guess, because that's the big news. They're, they're all excited about the Iran situation. So they couldn't tell you about the threats that are being levied against you, you, you know, personally. Let's see, Chinese hacking group Volt Typhoon, interesting name, has infested systems used to manage U.S. infrastructure and is now, waiting for the opportune moment to strike, FBI Director Christopher Ray has said. Ha, huh. interesting. I, I didn't hear about that. Did you hear about that? I, uh, <laughs> I don't know what to say. Let's see. The systems affected are used to control water, energy, and telecommunications, among other sectors, with previous attacks linked to Chinese hacker groups possibly being practice attacks in order to, to create a playbook for an attack on a larger scale. Then they go on to talk about election interference and all this stuff. This is a bit worrying. So attacks on our grid, on your water, on your electricity, on telecommunications. Apparently they've been investing, the infesting, sorry, not investing. I wish there was some money being invested in these things. I guess there is, but um, they've been infesting them and they're prepared to make an attack. Now, China, of course, the Chinese government has come out and said, well, this uh, typhoon, a Volt typhoon group is a criminal group and has nothing to do with us. Now, according to the article, they do. They have uh, connections with the Chinese government. I would go further than that. I would say a criminal group, you say. Well, how come there haven't been any arrests? I mean, I know how it works in China. You don't get your stuff out from their internet unless, uh, I mean, they know about it. So if there's some hacking group that's been getting into our system, sorry, I'm going to adjust this microphone a little bit so it's closer to my, what's going on here? I, I see. I must have bumped this when I was messing with that uh, old camera lens, which I'm not using right now. But that's beside the point. So, yeah, if this is, uh, you know, a criminal group, there's no way that the Chinese government doesn't know about it. Apparently, our government knows about it. Where are the arrests? Obviously, it's not. You know, I'm getting so sick of this proxy business. You know, the United States, at the very least, should come out and say, look, you can't hide behind your proxies when it comes to us. I don't care if you say it wasn't us. If we know it was you and through these proxies, that's not going to be any shield for you. And uh, it's not going to protect you from the rain of fire that's going to come down upon you. Uh, that sort of thing. But no, we have some idiot. I was watching Biden earlier give a live speech. Oh, man, they should really keep that guy away from cameras and microphones. Oh, it sounded so terrible. <laughs> Literally, it's like some old man. You know, I, I could see it. If there's like an old retired person, you bring him up in you know like to honor them and everybody's aware of how feeble they've become but you want them to speak so you can honor them that sort of thing okay then put them in front of the microphone but uh joe biden's supposed to be the president of the united states he's supposed to be dealing with things like this uh, this hack that has taken place of our infrastructure i don't trust it i don't believe it um i don't trust any of these people to have our best interests at heart like I said, you know, the media is all talking about this uh, drone attack 
in uh, Iran that nobody has said is Israel except for the United States. That that raises red flags to me, that Israel's not saying it was Israel and Iran is not saying it's Israel. Nobody's saying it was Israel except the United States. But um, that's beside the point. You should keep this in mind if you aren't someone who has, you know, prepping tendencies or has you, you might want to start getting some water put aside at the very least if your uh, water gets cut off that's probably the first thing that you have to worry about in a survival situation is having clean water that you can drink because you know other than air you probably aren't going to last long without good water um, then you know maybe some canned food something that you can eat without having to use you know like a, a stove for example if this attack really is imminent, and this is the only warning we're giving, I'm giving the warning right now, you know. I, myself, I feel like I'm at least somewhat prepared for something like this. But if you are not, you might want to make sure that you are. Before this really spreads, I don't know if they're not telling us about this in the media because they're afraid there'll be a massive panic. There, there should be. I don't even know what's going to happen with this video. In fact, uh, if you're watching this, and this is the first that you've heard of it, even if it's not, um, you know, or if there's some better video, then spread that one. But, you know, if this is what the only warning that you're hearing, spread it out there. At least get it to somebody, you know. Talk to your friends on Facebook or wherever it is you talk to people these days on the Internet and tell them, hey, this is happening. And you might want to have some water and canned food or something and a can opener. Don't forget the can opener. Set aside so that you can actually be okay if it takes a while to get the grid back up. I mean, the other day when that uh, storm came through with the tornado, we were without power for a few days. And I can tell you it's not a good thing. It's not a good thing. And this doesn't just affect the electricity. This is talking about water as well. And telecommunications, your ability to actually contact people. I saw that 911 went down the other day. Imagine that. You're in an emergency situation and you can't even contact 911. What are you going to do? You might want to know some little bits of first aid, just in case. You know, it's a little bit late at this point. Well, it's not too late until it's too late, right? So, at the very least, start doing something now. It's not too late to start doing something. But uh, I just wanted to get that out there so that you at least know what's going on so you don't get caught by surprise. Because if I hadn't been digging through those articles looking for stuff about Iran, I wouldn't have seen this. So I'll leave it at that. I'm going to go ahead and end this video so that I can get it up and you guys can see it and know what's going on, hopefully. And I will see you guys in the next one.